Thanks for joining us again, guys, here in downtown San Francisco for a unique and a little bit of a special episode of Financing the American Dream. That building there that we just came down from is the one that's most known for downtown San Francisco. You see it in postcards, in paraphernalia. And when you think of San Francisco, that pops up. But six decades before that building even came into existence, this historic building, which was home to the Bank of Italy, later to be acquired by Bank of America, was built and now still stands. It still contains a lot of its original character, but it's also home to two amazing businesses here in San Francisco. A social club by the name of Wingtip, which we're gonna be fortunate to be able to tour, and also 11th State Custom Clothing, which is run by Catherine Conway, who's responsible for all the well-dressed men in San Francisco, including yours truly, at least I think so. Let's go check it out. We're downstairs now in the vault of what was formerly the Bank of Italy, as I mentioned earlier, and this is where all the magic happens <laughs> with this lady here in terms of fitting and where all the design and everything comes into play. And look, I think the way people look is important. And some of you might ask, what does fashion and look have anything to do with real estate? In my opinion, I think everything how people look, how they present themselves, the respect they're showing for their industry, and also their clients and the people they meet with, it should matter in how they show up. Why is it important to you that men carry themselves this way? Oh, great question. It's important to me because I notice the shift in people's state. Mm. So as soon as they put on that custom-made garment, that custom-made suit, I can feel a difference in how they see Big themselves time. and then how they show up in the world. And that's the whole point is like, how can we take the focus off ourselves and put it onto other people? People have had a chance to totally chill, not take themselves too seriously, wear the sweats. Not even shower. Not even shower. And I feel like we get to a breaking point where we're like, enough, I don't feel good. Mm -hmm. I'm not like performing at my very peak level, mm -hmm. my very best. And so I allowed people to go there, taste it, and I can tell they want to come back. And when we come back, like we have an opportunity to take it to the next level. Well, Catherine, we appreciate you and I appreciate you and I will continue coming back, get more clothes because it's actually the most fun part of my job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> So we are in one of my most favorite places in San Francisco where I am a proud member of and have been for a number of years. It's Wingtip. We were welcomed and got to tour around the spot here with the director of operations, Kendrick, who I appreciate letting us come in. And I wanted to chat with him and get his take for all of our viewers to get an understanding of what is one of the most unique social club concepts in San Francisco. Probably one of the first ones as well too, right? Certainly. Is it? So give us the history on Wingtip for someone who doesn't know. The history of Wingtip. Uh, originally, Wingtip was a uh, retail establishment. It was mm -hmm. down on the Embarcadero, very famous area if you're not from San Francisco. But uh, it was conceptually this great idea of how can we have a place where we can buy spirits, uh, scars, fine clothing, that sort of thing, barber shops, and just kind of spun off of that. People that are like minded people that got together and decided what if we had a club where we all could enjoy these things and, and kind of celebrate these things as a whole. And that's where the collective of of this club eventually was born. And people are looking for more a more dialed in sort of uh, ex experience. And so that's what we offer here is we've kind of stripped it all away. And it's like, let's just call it what we are. And I kid and I say, we're a fine dining club with a drinking problem. And <laughs> it's, you know, celebrate the things that, that you do really well. And, mm -hmm. and uh, moving forward, you give people a nice alternative as to something that's going to be super consistent that doesn't require a whole bunch of, uh, you know, reservations, jockeying back and forth, waiting on wait lists for, for a month or more at a time. And this is what you get. I love being a member here. Anyone, if you're ever in San Francisco, you must check this place out. If you live here, look into it yourself. But Kendrick, thank you so much for having us. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed that unique and different type of an episode here on Financing the American Dream, where we really put more of a focus on the culture and the lifestyle and the essence of what it is to live and work in San Francisco. We'll see you guys on the next one.